Oh yeah, inject that into my veins, touching up those edges like that. You love to see it, and look at that. Hey, what's going on guys? Dylan DeJesus here. Welcome back for another episode of Artist Reacts. We have a ton of great TikToks and reels to share with you guys today. And it's definitely been a little while since we've done one of these. So we're really excited to go ahead and check out what you guys have been cooking up. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, let's see. So work smarter, not harder. And they are covering up that entire back stitching area with that thinned out mixture. And then they went ahead and wiped it right off. And that actually ended up looking pretty clean. That was not a bad end result right there. So if you're doing a lot of these types of Air Force Ones where you just wanna change the back stitching like that, this is potentially not a bad shortcut here. They were using light gray there, so I definitely think that that's gonna be a lot less noticeable than if you were using maybe some darker colors once you go ahead and wipe off all of that excess paint. I'm not sure if they maybe had any acetone on that rag when they were wiping it off, but with some darker colors, it's probably gonna be even more noticeable that you're definitely gonna start to tint that surrounding leather even just a little bit. So with light gray, probably not that noticeable, but with some darker colors, you're definitely gonna start to notice that you're tinting some of that factory white surrounding leather right behind that stitching. So, you know, if you're doing a lot of these, maybe not too bad of a shortcut. However, it's definitely not gonna beat actually taking the time to get in there and really fine line all of that stitching with a really good detail brush or a toothpick, whatever you choose to use. Oh, I think we got a quick glimpse at the end result at the start of the video. So a pair of blazers here, and it looks like we have one of those classic donut drip themes. But actually, it looks like it's a cake theme today. That's pretty cool how you incorporated the different layers of cake here. I really like that. That's not something that I think I've seen when it comes to doing this theme that has been done countless times, basically. So this is a super short video, just a couple quick hitters of you painting at the various stages, and it works really well on this pair of blazers, especially with that off-white sole. And then I think that it was actually another genius move to incorporate that heat shrink wrap because then this definitely feels like a piece that you would, you know, essentially pick up at a bakery. Colors work great and this theme fit these blazers very well. All right, we got a clean pair of the bloodlines here. I see a hoop on the outside of the left shoe and then we move into seeing some of the Chicago Bulls championship rings on the back heels. Three on the left shoe, three on the right for Mike's six rings. And then we have young Mike on the outside of the other. That is crazy. There's a ton of detail packed into those rings here. And that is a great placement of them on that back heel. And look at that young Mike portrait with the chain hanging from the, the slam dunk contest here in Chicago. This is absolutely crazy. Doing a portrait like that where it's stretching across all of these different panels of a Jordan 1, that is absolutely crazy and a super high level of difficulty. So you totally nailed these. And I love that ending shot, how you got to see the hoop on the outside of the left shoe right next to Mike dunking coming from the right shoe. That is absolutely crazy. And sometimes you end up picking just the perfect base shoe. In this case, the Jordan 1 Bloodlines where you don't even need to do a lot as far as changing up the majority of the shoe. You get to go ahead and just do your artwork on top of it. And this was a really fabulous piece that we saw here today. All white pair of superstars here. A little bit of green on the stripes. Now moving into some detail work on a character piece on the back. a Little bit of clean stencil work. Oh yeah, inject that into my veins, play it over and over again, touching up those edges like that, love to see it. But now, let's take a look at that character piece. I believe that's the album cover from The Clash and this is that shading on that album cover that you did on the back heel was absolutely wicked. Just an incredible job. You totally nailed that look. And another interesting part about these, I'm gonna have to take another look here, but 
I'm very intrigued by how you achieved this effect on some of the text that you did here. It's almost like there's a little bit of a, a white haze on top of some of the text. It's almost like if you were designing these digitally, you would have like turned down the opacity a little bit. So I'd be very curious to know how you achieved that effect on these to just really lighten up some of that text and, and just be pushed to the background rather than the, the London calling that you had it in the foreground where it was obviously the, the colors that it's supposed to be. But that was a really interesting technique that uh, I would definitely like to see how you did that, but just a killer job on these, man. So starting off with some minty green on the swoosh and then quickly moving into some different shades of green on the rest of the panels. So this is gonna be a bunch of different shades of green and now throwing the finisher on top. And yeah, that's a clean end result. Sometimes you can't go wrong with a clean, simple colorway like this. And I can definitely see a lot of people just scrolling on TikTok who might be into simpler things, but still are interested in getting a custom piece, something that you can't go buy at the mall. This is gonna be right up their alley. So great job on these. Clean colorway, if there was anything I could say about these, just make sure you go back and touch up all those edges. But other than that, this is a great, simple, clean piece. Okay, would you wear my customs, be honest. So a little bit of a painting going on in the background. And then just a, a slideshow here of a bunch of different pairs and some really clean work, of course, from our buddy Ty. And what I think makes this such a great TikTok is you really encourage engagement because you're just gonna get a ton of people saying, yes, of course, I would love to wear some of these. So once you go ahead and show some of your favorite pairs that you've done, you go ahead and show them in that slideshow where he showed three different pairs that were all very unique which is a great idea. You're gonna get a ton of people commenting on here saying, yes, of course, you know, how can I get more info on these? So anytime you can increase engagement by using a simple opener like that, asking people if they would wear any of these, I think that that's gonna create a great video for you and it's probably gonna perform really well analytically, which at the end of the day can only help you. You know what I mean? Even though sometimes these are just for fun, if you're gonna get new people seeing your work, that could potentially go a long way for you. So this is a really good idea. Okay, so it looks like we have a One Piece Air Force One here based off the Kaido Dragon, I believe it is. And yeah, this doesn't seem to be a video where you're gonna have a lot of editing or tricks or anything like that. You just need to show off a sweet 360 view of these because this artwork is absolutely insane. I love these. I love character pieces where you don't even need to show the character. You can just combine different elements so the dragon scales and whatnot. And I definitely want to take note of, take a look at the artwork that extends onto the midsole and the little drop shadow behind it. That's what really gives this piece that depth, really turns it from a flat 2D object into a beautiful 3D piece of artwork. And this is dope. This is absolutely amazing artwork. I love these. You did an incredible job. And this is definitely one of my favorite One Piece customs that I've seen. Okay, so we got ourselves a Rugrats theme today. You definitely don't see enough of this. A pair of slip-on Vans. We have the Rugrats logo on the back heel. Looking great so far. Uh, a bunch of tiny little Reptars on the front of the shoes. And then on the other one, a much bigger Reptar with some claw marks behind them. Looks like it's time for the outlines. And wow, would you take a look at that? That is crazy. Those are some incredibly precise fine lines that you did around all of your characters. So you did not opt to go for the big, bold black outlines that you would typically see. That was, I am super impressed at how precise your fine line detailing is. And what I really loved about the design also was how one of the shoes had a much tinier, almost Reptar style print. That's probably something that you would see if there was ever an official like Bands and Rugrats collab, probably something along those lines. But I love how on the other shoe you opted to go with a much bigger Reptar. And, but wow, am I really impressed by how precise you are when it comes to your fine line detailing. That was an amazing job. I also do think that these could have been elevated to the next level if you did a, just even another neutral color for the background. Something just to break up some of the rest of the white in that shoe. 
but this was an amazing job on these. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Artist Reacts. Hopefully you guys enjoy seeing all of the amazing artists out there that we featured in today's video just as much as I did. There are so many talented people in this community. It is so cool to see it grow and hopefully this encourages everybody out there to start experimenting, doing more videos, whether it's for Instagram Reels or TikToks, just start experimenting and have fun with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and everybody get out there and just create.